two days before the racing gets underway, it's the first chance for the public to take a glimpse at some of the big favourites for this year's Tour de France. Getting underway in the heart of Liège, where the artists also had their say on what might unfold over the next three weeks of racing. The Garmin Sharp team, Dan Martin, signing on for his first ever Tour de France. But it's a team that also includes Tyler Farrar, a winner of a stage a year ago. The American Christian Van Der Velde, a fourth place finisher in the past, but one of the dark horses. The Canadian Ryder Hegedal, the winner of this year's Giro d'Italia. Can he do the double? Alejandro Valverde returns to the Tour de France after a suspension. He's looking lean, sharp and highly motivated. For the Dutch, Robert Gessink, he's been in the top five previously. They have high hopes that he can make it all the way to the podium. He was the winner of the Tour of California early on in the season. Time is right for him to step up to the challenge. The British are yet to get a rider into the top three in the Tour de France, let alone win the event overall. And this year, Bradley Wiggins is starting with the bookmakers, at least, as the favourite. He has an extraordinary team around him, including Michael Rogers, a triple world champion in the individual time trial and a top 10 finisher. The team also includes Mark Cavendish. For the French, their hopes will rest with Thomas Vaucler, a long stint in yellow one year ago, and Pierre Roland, the winner of the stage to Alpe d'Huez, and the white jersey winner, can he step up and now challenge for the Maillot Jaune. At Liquigas and the Italians, it's the shark from the Straits, Vicenzo Nibali, that they rest their hopes on. A winner of the Tour of Spain, a second place finish in the Giro d'Italia, he's the man that they're anticipating can challenge the likes of Wiggins and Evans. The Radio Shack team will be starting with Fabian Cancellara as the favourite to take the first yellow jersey. But can Frank Schleck move two steps further up the podium from last year and take yellow to Paris? He'll have to do so without the support of his brother Andy, who's missing due to injury. Radio Shack is one of the most experienced teams in the race with two riders at 40 years of age, Chris Horner and Jens Voigt. But the man all the favourites will have to upstage is the defending champion, Cadell Evans. With one victory already secured for Cadell Evans, there's an air of calm about the Australian as he embarks on his first ever defence as the reigning champion at the Tour de France. 